Welcome back to Island Life Live. She is known as the pride of the Pacific. I'm talking about the Hawaii Theater, and she has played a significant role in Honolulu's cultural landscape since 1922. And joining us once again on the couch is the president and CEO of the Hawaii Theater, Gregory Dunn. How's it, bro? Good. Good afternoon. Staying Good dry. You. Oh, wow, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. you smart. you in Uber to I our did, studio. Always, so very right? Micah. You're very Micah. All right. You guys yeah. have a, a really busy month, uh, this month of May, and we, that's what we talked about the last time. But uh, let's get really dig into more of the events that you guys have. Can we start with the series that Hawaii Theater is partnering with the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation with the Rise and Shine Kupuna Movie Mornings? You know, this is really exciting. Um, because of the sponsors we have, like with First Hawaiian Bank and MasterCard, helping to underwrite our programming, we're able to do more outreach for the community. So one of the things that the Legacy Foundation found is that a lot of seniors feel isolated, mm -hmm. but they're also limited in how much money they have to be able to spend to do things. Mm -hmm. So we've created a program with them with a Rise and Shine movie morning. Once a month, we're gonna bring people together, come Manuahi, come for free, see a movie. Are you serious, yeah, free? Manuahi. Wow. Come, come, hello, hi. And, and be able to get some coffee, pastries, um, you know, talk amongst each other, get some fellowship, see a fantastic film. Yeah, all in the historical white theater. What's the first one? Uh, first one, oh my God, you guys are in for a treat. This one's Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. 1951 version, not the nasty 1930s one, which is really, really bad. <laughs> but this one's cool because this one, they, it was one of the first ones that employed a native Hawaiian practitioner that did the choreography and the, the, the hula in the film in the 1950s. So Ilani wow. Luahini did the hula in this. Oh my goodness, like chicken skin that's in the Hawaii have, theater. That's all you have to do is drop her name. That is a legend right there. Exactly. Wow. So that is the, the first one. When is that coming up? The first one coming up? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tomorrow morning. 10 a.m. Doors open at 9.30. Come on down to the, the theater in Chinatown. Um, go online, get your tickets uh, because you've got to reserve seats. Okay. So pick out your tickets. They're free. If you want to donate a little bit to help out, can. If not, no can. No worries. Come on down. I love the when you look at their website, it says this is an alcohol free, alcohol -free engagement. Man. Just coffee, right? Yeah, so, just coffee. You know, I mean, it's too early for that. I mean, well, right? it's, well, it depends. <laughs> but you know, it's one of the other things. A lot of the seniors want to come down, but some of them are in recovery. They mm -hmm. want to, like, not have an alcohol driven event. Right. This is some way for people to participate and have good clean fun. I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay, let's talk about AJ Croce. He is the son of legendary singer-songwriter Jim Croce. How excited are you about th this oh concert? Gosh. This was, you know, this is one of those that, that when I read that he was doing a national tour mm -hmm. and I, I was like, I grew up with, with his dad's music, yeah. right? Because the father died when I was, you know, before I was even listening to music. But, but growing up, you hear, you know, Bad Bad Leroy Brown yeah, yeah. and Operator and all these songs and you're like, wow, that guy was such a talented musician musician and, and balladeer. So now we have AJ, his son, who stepped up and is playing the father's music. Amazing. You know, and I, I was watching a video of his story. I mean, of course, his dad died when he was two. He lost his sight when he was four. His home burned down in a fire. And then he lost his wife to a rare heart condition. I can imagine all of those emotions go into his music, right? It's it's something else. You know, when, when you have a talented musician who's who's put through so much strain and stress in their life, the outpouring of emotion in the music makes it so magical. Absolutely. And to be able to hear it in the historic Hawaii theater, oh my gosh, we're, people are, get your tickets. If you don't know who Jim Croce is, it's okay. If you don't know who AJ Croce is, that's okay. Just go on faith and come down and get a ticket. This is an amazing show you won't want to miss. Oh, I can just listening to the music and then of course he sings a lot of his dad's music. I mean, just chicken skin. So if people want to watch AJ in concert, where can they get their tickets? Yeah, hawaiitheater.com. Best place to get it. All right, hey Gregory, stay dry out there as you go yeah, back to the Hawaii it. Theater. Once again, the president and CEO. Yeah. Here's the information of uh, some of the events that are happening at Hawaii Theater and we look forward to seeing you the next time you come by. Looking forward to it. All, All right. right.